Hi, I'm Chad, and today we are at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. This is my first time back out at Chuckwalla since January of this year, and I have improved my riding skills in a lot in that time span. So I'm excited to get out here, spend some laps, and see how those improvements will affect my lap times. So last time I was out here, I think I did a high 204 with the amount of riding experience I have now and what I've learned over the past year. I'm feeling like I could probably go under two minutes. In fact, that's gonna be a goal for me this weekend. I'm out here racing round three of CVMA, the December round. We're running the track clockwise. So it's been a good weekend so far. Came out here and did a practice yesterday, which was Friday. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the mounting case for my GoPro Hero 5 session. That's the one that holds the GoPro so you can actually attach it to things like the arms and the mounts themselves. Plenty of mounts, plenty of arms, even had my suction cut mount. Somehow, some way, I lost it or forgot to grab it. It ended up somewhere it probably shouldn't have been. So that was my mistake. So don't have any footage from Friday, but I'll just give you guys a quick recap. I only rode the last three sessions of the day. The first two, it was way too cold and it was really windy most of the day. Didn't really feel like going out there, especially early when the track was still cold. So I skipped session three because I was trying to find my GoPro case. Uh, that didn't work out. So I went out for the last three sessions of the day, four, five, and six in the afternoon. Track was feeling pretty good, particularly in session number five, my second session of the day. Ended up getting behind uh, another guy on a Daytona 675R, a newer one, and just kind of analyzing. He was out there for racer practice as well. So was able to do a 202.05 behind him. Uh, there were some places I was stronger. There were some places he was stronger. So it was good, good learning experience. And I'm really excited to go out and see if maybe I come across him at the track. I'm willing to bet he's running all the same races as I am. He also has amateur plates, so it'll be a good time. So the way that Chuck Walla does the CBMA Fridays is that they have a track day that's run by Apex Assassins and they have two groups. There's a C slash B minus group and then a B plus slash A group. And then there are two other groups that are racer practice and you have to be a licensed racer for those. So I ran in the licensed racer practice groups and they're each 20 minute sessions, which is why there's only six sessions instead of your normal seven. But it was good, got out there and was riding with some people that were on a similar pace to me, had a good time, just got comfortable on the bike. So today I'm gonna be able to get you guys some footage because my friend Yohei came through massively for me. He was driving out here last night from the Orange County area as well and had the case. He had a GoPro Hero 4 session and it uses the same case as my camera. So he just brought that with him and I was able to rig my GoPro up and we're good to go. But anyways, the bike's been teched, it's all set up. I skipped the first two practice sessions of the day just Again, it's super cold out here, so I figure it probably wasn't gonna to be too conducive to my time. I was gonna to need to be tiptoeing around the track. I got some good practice in yesterday, so as long as I stretch, get out there and spin one, two laps, I should be pretty good in qualifying, I think. But I'm excited, looking forward to it, looking forward to racing later today. We got two races today, the amateur middleweight super sport, as well as the amateur super sport open. So in that class, I'll be racing against some thousands as well. It's gonna be a good time, so stick around, stay tuned, and here comes the footage.
159.9. All right, so qualifying is done. One sub two, 159.9. Official qualifying time was 159 and change, so gonna have to check that out, see where I gridded up. But glad I checked that off on Saturday. So we're heading to the riders meeting right now. I'm gonna sit tight and race is 10 and 12 of the day, but we'll get out there, do some racing, and have some fun. So thank all of you guys for being patient with us and bringing us, for the most part, good, clean, properly prepped motorcycles. So thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna help my buddy Yohe get his bike ready to go, and then I'm gonna go find out where I'm gonna up. Race 10 and race 12, so we can have at least like an hour, probably closer to two hours to just rest up. Then I've got two pretty much back-to-back -back races. I'm gonna come in from 10, get my bike up on the warmers, sit, have a drink of water, and then pick it off and go back out. So really exciting, these are six lap races. I'm anxious and ready to go. All right, time to go check my grid positions based on my qualifying time. Curious to see what I did officially, but on my solo two, I got a 159.9. So exciting. Set a new PB and hit my goal for the weekend, which is to go under two minutes. So awesome. In addition to that, you might be wondering if I'm going to have any first person footage this weekend. And the answer is no, because Chuck Walla has banned helmet mounted cameras. So unfortunately, it won't have any of that, but I'll still get good footage for you guys. All right, so official qualifying time was a 159.927. That puts me in 10th for the Supersport Open Race Amateur and puts me 12th for the Amateur Supersport Middleweight Race. Gonna be a good one. All right, race seven is about halfway done, so I'm gonna go get suited back up and get ready to go out. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but we're gonna make it work and I'm really excited and can't wait to see where I end up. Hopefully I can set an even better lap than I did in qualifying. This weekend for me is all about improvement and setting a new PB. So if I can do that time over time out on the track, I'm super happy. Just had my first call, so time to finish shooting up and get out there until he's gonna watch me race. So it's gonna be a good time. Woo, excited.
Poof to start big time on that one. Uh, this is the first time that I'm racing with the slipper clutch and uh, those new Barnett clutch plates, and man, did they grip. <laughs> so, uh, a little overzealous there, but did the best that I could. I was glad I got that guy on the R1 back. That was really hard, very hard in this uh, open class to, you know, fight against leader bikes that have 80, 90 horsepower more than I do. It's all about the brakes and the corner speed. But, whew, I'm tired. I'm gonna rest up for a second. Just got the tires on the warmers. We got some water, some gas my bike, and send it for the next one.
day one of CVMA round three. So kind of blew my start big time, completely blew my start, who am I kidding? And my first race, which was the Amateur Super Sport Open. So I was racing with some leader bikes out there, overtook that R1, which I was pretty happy with. That was, that was a struggle. And I was feeling a little brave there when I made that pass and was like, oh, but it worked out all right. Amateur Super Sport 600 or Amateur Super Sport Middleweight. I uh, did a little bit better, got a little bit better of a start. I heard that the guy that passed me going into turn one jumped the start actually, but I ended up finishing 10th after starting 12th, pretty good. Also, my lap times came down even more. I did a best of a 158.321 official timed by CVMA. Lap timer was telling me 158.21, somewhere in that realm. So I think it's pretty, pretty accurate, not too bad. But I had a great time, especially in the second race. So I'm gonna go rest up, get showered, get cleaned up. They're doing a barbecue out here tonight, uh, potluck and uh, white elephant gift exchange to celebrate the holiday season. So I'm participating in those and looking forward to making some new friends. But thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a gentle little click of the like button. Consider subscribing for more amateur motorcycle racing content and uh, drop a comment below. Have you ever raced before, ever done a track day? You ever thinking about doing one? Let's talk about it. But I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my evening, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, later. <laughs> <laughs>